Hey, people of planet Earth. Fallout 4's vanilla animations are as stiff as my back, and arguably they're not very good. That's where reanimation mods come in, although reviewing these will be tough because judging animation quality is very subjective. Some people might only like tactical, operator-style animations. Others might want flashy, unrealistic animations. It all depends on your tastes. However, there are objective facts that can be determined about these reanimation mods, and I aim to present these facts while keeping in mind that some people might not share my opinion about what constitutes a good animation. There's way too many reanimation mods to cover in one video, so for this video I'm restricting myself to examining reanimations for the 10mm pistol, deliverer, 44 pistol, and for light melee weapons. Basically all of Fallout 4's major, one-handed weapons. If you're being pedantic, you might argue that most of these aren't really one-handed weapons, since the player holds them in two hands most of the time, but as long as they could conceivably be wielded in one hand, that's what I'm calling them. One last thing, I'll only be reviewing mods that actually replace the vanilla animation files so other weapon mods can make use of them. So if a reanimation mod isn't featured in this video, it's probably because it doesn't replace vanilla animations, but rather changes a vanilla weapon to use new animations. I hope you can appreciate the difference. But enough prelude, it's time to recommend animation mods. I'll be recommending one set for each weapon, because you can only load one. For the 10mm pistol, I didn't find any animation replacers worth using. If you're not loading Tactical Reload, I would tentatively recommend the 10mm pistol reanimation pack by War Daddy, because it does look better than the vanilla animations, but with Tactical Reload it has a critical bug that prevents me from recommending it entirely. Honestly, the 10mm pistol's vanilla animations aren't that bad, and there are very few weapon mods that inherit their animations from the 10mm. Pistols tend to use Deliverer animations instead. Speaking of, there are a lot of Deliverer animations on the Nexus, but the overall best set I could find is Fiddler's Deliverer Animation Overhaul. The other mods I tried out all either don't support Tactical Reload or have other major issues, so Fiddler's wins by default. For the 44 pistol, there's only one animation set that seriously changes the weapon for the better, and it's the Double Action 44 Revolver Reanimation mod. This animation looks far, far better than the horribly stiff Vanilla 44 pistol. As for melee weapons, I couldn't find any reanimations at all, except for a single mod that changes how knife animations work, and it was kind of crappy and it affects weapons like the shish kebab that it really shouldn't. So it's best to stick with vanilla melee animations. There's no alternative as far as I can see, unfortunately. Okay, with recommendations out of the way, let's look at each animation set in depth and examine the merits of each. I found two 10mm animation sets. The first and worst of the two is the Cyberpunk 2077 animation replacer. Personally, I hate these flashy, show-off animations, and I would never use this mod on those grounds alone. But even if you like these animations, you probably won't like the extremely long draw time. And ear-shatteringly loud firing sounds. This animation set also requires tactical reload, so if you're dead set against using TR, this mod isn't for you. Furthermore, it changes the vanilla 10mm pistol's attributes, creating incompatibilities with other mods. It does this to add the option of two alternative reload animations, which do look cool, I guess, but removing the extended magazine attachments was very uncool. The nail in the coffin for this mod is the fact that it causes the double footsteps glitch in power armor. The second and much better option is the 10mm pistol reanimation pack by War Daddy. This animation set sticks very close to the vanilla style but feels a lot less stiff. I like the reload and sprint, but the melee chop kind of blocks too much of the screen. The reduced visual recoil is a great change. The 10mm pistol is a heavy gun and you can feel that weight absorbing the recoil now. 
There is a tactical reload patch for this reanimation, but tactically reloading in power armor is completely fucked, as in, it doesn't work. I can't recommend this animation set either because of the tactical reload bug. It's a real shame, but the best option here is to suffer Bethesda's original 10mm animations. Now let's move on to Deliverer animation replacers, and there are a shitload of them. First up is Deliverer animation replacer pack by Warfighters Workshop. To start with, I don't like very much how this weapon is held canted style and the sprinting animation looks robotic with the pistol swaying from side to side. On the other hand, the reload looks pretty good. Fast and snappy, I like it. But unfortunately, there's no tactical reload support for this mod. This is the only Deliverer set I could find that has third-person animations, so it deserves some brownie points for that. But the firing animations haven't been changed, so the slide still doesn't move when you shoot but let's blame Bethesda for that, not the modder. This animation set works great with custom weapons. There's no significant clipping even with larger pistols. To conclude, this isn't a bad set to try if you don't care about tactical reload support. Our second deliverer set is Pistol Reanimation Pack by War Daddy. This set comes in both one-handed and two-handed variants. Make sure to pick the two-handed version. The one-handed set causes over a third of the screen to be blocked if you use it in power armor, which isn't a problem with the two-handed version. One peculiarity of this set is increased recoil, which is fine when using higher caliber pistols but doesn't make sense for the deliverer itself. I'm also not the biggest fan of the reload, especially the part where the weapon is unnecessarily tilted horizontally to rack the slide. And unfortunately, there is no tactical reload support for this animation set. On the other hand, I like the sprint animation, and this set works just fine in Power Armor too. I definitely think Warfighter's animations are better in general, but this set isn't half bad either. The third animation set called Pistol Reanimation Pack by the Shiny Haxorus is all bad though. Aside from the reload animation itself, which looks pretty good. There's also tactical reload support for it. But it's all ruined by that terrible double step bug in power armor. Worse still, during the reload there's guaranteed to be clipping issues with larger custom pistols. I would definitely not recommend this set. But for whatever reason, other animators have built their animations on top of it, such as our fourth mod today, which I already looked at in my Pistols mod battle. This little mod only consists of a new reload and sprint animation for the Deliverer. You'll need Shiny Haxorus's mod for the rest of the animations. The new reload has a lot less clipping than Shiny's reload with larger custom pistols, but now it doesn't look right when using the Deliverer's small magazine. And of course, it still has the same double footsteps bug in power armor, so I'd recommend staying away from this mod too. The fifth Deliverer animation is my recommended mod for today, Fiddler's Deliverer Animation Overhaul. I didn't recommend this mod because I found it exceptional. It's simply the best of a flawed batch. This set features good reload animations and full support for tactical reload, which is nice. The sprinting animation looks awesome, but the interpolation between sprint and idle can look ugly if you sprint and then suddenly stop. I like the weapon bash animation. I'm not a fan of how the thumbs look in the idle animation, especially since with smaller pistols like the Deliverer itself, the thumbs don't touch the pistol, and with larger pistols the thumbs can end up clipping through the slide or the frame. Yeah, this mod has its problems, but in general, it's the best option there is. That's why I recommended it. The sixth Deliverer animation set we have is Chad 509's New Deliverer Animations. You'll need to install the Shiny Haxorus's animations first to get the sounds working on this set, which means that this mod also has the double footsteps bug in Power Armor. In fact, these new animations don't work in Power Armor at all. You'll see Shiny's animations instead. 
To be honest, I think that those look better than these slow, bouncy animations anyways. That's all I have to say about this mod. Don't bother with it. The seventh and final and arguably the best Deliverer animation set for today is Pistol Animation Pack Reborn. This mod is built off the shiny Haxorus' animations, but unlike them, it doesn't cause the Power Armor Footsteps bug, and the reload animation is significantly more compatible with pistols of all different sizes. In fact, this might be the best Deliverer set out of all of them as far as clipping goes. However, I don't like the animations nearly as much as Fiddler Green's set, and even though this mod is supposed to have tactical reload support, I couldn't get it to work. That's why I recommended Fiddler Green's animations over these, but I have to admit they are a very close second. Anyways, that's enough Deliverer animations for a lifetime. Now let's move on to the two Revolver animation sets I found. The first and the only one worth using is Double Action 44 Revolver Reanimation. The biggest problem with this mod is it wasn't packaged properly. Its ESP file was placed outside the data folder, making it fail to install through Mod Organizer 2. To fix this, just move the Meshes folder outside the data folder, delete the empty data folder, and restart your mod manager. Then this animation set will work fine. I'm not really a fan of the excessive recoil this mod gives the 44 pistol, and I'm kind of ambivalent about making it double action, but this mod definitely changes the reload and sprint animations for the better. Honestly, the worst part of this mod is how much of the screen gets blocked by your pauldrons when in power armor. It looks really bad. This mod works well with custom weapons, although the interpolation between vanilla hammer cocking and the new idol doesn't look the best. So this mod has some good parts, but also a lot of bad. You'll have to choose for yourself whether you prefer better animations with some annoyances, or awful vanilla animations and a more consistent experience. Pick your poison, I guess. As for the second 44 pistol animation set, the one-handed revolver mod, it's terrible. It's basically just the vanilla animations, but with the left hand moved out of the frame. The animator forgot to change the power armor animations though, so the hand keeps appearing and disappearing whenever you stop moving. They also added crappy spinning draw and holster animations that I'm not a fan of either. Don't bother with this mod, it's not worth downloading. Our final mod for today is the only one-handed melee animation I could find. The knife animation pack. It's bad. Frankly, I don't think it looks any better than the vanilla animations and you absolutely should not install the spinning draw animations because they also apply to non-knife weapons like the shish kebab, and you do not want to be spinning around a flaming sword, do you? Forget about this mod, just stick with the vanilla knife animations. Oh boy, that was a lot of animations to go through. In conclusion, there really aren't many good reanimation options for Fallout 4's vanilla one-handed weapons. Honestly, if you want good animations, you might be better off replacing the vanilla weapons entirely. Soon enough, maybe next week or the week after that, I'll make a guide on replacing vanilla weapons. But until then, 